Now that we have a project onto function, let's use it to essentially project our ship velocity onto our normal so that we can do the rebound of the ship off the wall. If you remember, we created a wall normal. I'll just draw it right here. Our wall normal. And when the ship comes in, that's a nice way of saying it, when my ship comes in, we take this vector, we project it onto the wall normal. So the projection of this velocity vector onto the wall normal would look roughly like that. But when we, then we times it by a negative two, which would flip it around essentially flip it around but timesing by negative one would flip it around and then timesing by negative two will double it and when we add the velocity we add this velocity vector to this uh, projected times negative two that when we add it we get roughly that which is the reflection of our velocity vector off of the wall if I take this new velocity and position it right about here you can see with my rough drawings that we come in at this angle, we leave at this angle. That's hopefully old hat. Well, to get that projection, we simply dotted the ship velocity against the normal, but we had to normalize the normal, which requires a square root. And not that I'm big on premature optimization, but if I can afford, if I can avoid a square root, then I certainly will. So that's the case here. I'm going to take the dot normalized off of there, and that will leave our wall normal the length of the actual wall, which generally normals, meaning perpendicular vectors, are normalized. We'll use that a lot in graphics. But in this case, instead of having a simple wall normal of length one, I guess length one would be roughly this long in our in our in our coordinate plane. Remember, this is zero right here, and this is one, and this is negative one in the x. So maybe this wall normal would be a little longer. Anyway, instead of having a normalized normal, our normal vector is the difference of these two points, but then rotated. I can't remember if we did counterclockwise or clockwise, but basically we rotated, and our wall normal is very long in this case, and then our ship velocity is very uh, short compared, to, well, it'll be much shorter than that, actually, but it'll be short compared to the wall normal. I still want to project the ship velocity onto the wall normal, even though the wall normal is not normalized. Remember, normal means perpendicular, normalized and normalized means length one. Let's use our project onto function. Now that we've removed, we didn't normalize the normal, so watch what happens actually before I do the uh, project onto. Let's hit the wall here. Without a normalized normal, we're gaining speed. Okay, did you see how we gained speed and then we locked up and our system blew up? That's kind of a physics simulation we saw there. When we do physics, we'll see how physics can blow up, especially when we're doing uh, physics in a digital world or a discrete world, taking discrete time steps. Blah, blah, blah. We'll talk about that when we get to physics. So instead of doing dot normal with normal, I'm going to say, hey, project the ship velocity onto the normal. Let's build this, run this. And we should see the exact same behavior now, but we didn't have to do the square root. Bounce, bounce. Feeling good about it. Let's hit this wall, and we'll hit this one, so on and so forth. So there you go. We're using the project onto function to get our ship moving. Very, very cool.